right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining Afternoon Tea at SME. That's March 23rd. Um, I am Mrs. Jones, Julie Jones, proud principal here. Thank you so much for joining. This is meant to be a time for you to ask questions, get information, um, comment. So please feel free to unmute or use the chat at any time. This is your time and your space. Uh, this will obviously, if you're here, you're watching the recording, so that's great. Or you're you're here, or you're watching the recording, so that's great on our Stallion Station YouTube channel. So we have the same agenda as always. What's happening here? Some health and safety updates, and then just making sure that everyone knows how to get involved and stay connected. So much fun stuff to share. So many fun updates. Um, it's lots of great pictures too. So getting right into it, uh, as many of you know, we are in the midst of a big service learning project. Service learning is one of the tenants of Leader and Me, and we are excited to be able to have this opportunity to give back to our uh, San Miguel and Lemon Grove school community. Um, the St. John of the Cross, their food pantry has recently fell on some hard times. So actually some of our students came up with the idea to give back. And it's a wonderful opportunity for kids to contribute and find their voice, but there's also some currency attached. Um, the grade level that donates the most non-perishable food items will have a zone free recess for a whole week. And in the life of an elementary schooler who's at the end of a pandemic, not having to be in a zone with your classmates for recess for a whole week is a really big deal. So honestly, I think we are well over 3000 items delivered to the school to give back to the community. So, so exciting. And these are some of our student leaders. Every week they go around, they collect the items, they count them, they tally, they do all the math, and then they sort and organize uh, by grade level. And then as a part of Stallion Station, our student newscast, they share out uh, where we're at each week. So I'm looking forward to see where we're at because um, this, this has already been a big week for donations. So really fun to have some service learning happening here at school. Uh, another service learning component uh, tomorrow actually is our second walk-in closet event. We have some incredibly generous families who have been asking for a long time, like, do you have anyone that needs clothes or old leadership shirts? My son's too big for them or shoes. Um, and we've just been collecting, not really knowing what we're going to do with everything. Uh, and one of our social work, school social work interns got together with some students and had the idea to give back. So about once a month, we have a walk-in closet event uh, in the morning and the afternoon. Our students help organize lay everything out, help facilitate with families. Um, so it's a really great way, another great way for us to give back to the school community. Um, that's tomorrow, tomorrow morning before school and tomorrow morning after school. We had recently, we had uh, the nation celebrates Read Across America and we call it Read Across San Miguel. And um, we had a half hour chunk of time where literally every single class was outside and kids were reading. It was very strange to walk around a school and not hear anything <laughs> because everybody was reading. Um, so this was, these were just some photos that I snapped of kids reading literally all over school. Um, it was really, really fun. And it was neat to see the joy of literacy back on our campuses or on our campus. We've had a lot of spirit days recently. Um, we have a, a student lighthouse group, which is kind of like student council or ASB, and they've really gotten into spirit days. So almost every week, I feel like we have a spirit day. Today was superhero day. I did not show up very well, but there were some amazing superhero costumes out there. Um, the top left is a photo from last week. It was character day. Show up as your favorite character from a book or a movie or a cartoon. Um, you see some from hat day. Uh, hat celebrate spirit by showing off your hat or your hair. So we had some kids um, into that. 
Oh, oh, and on the bottom right, that's two of our staff members who were really into character day this week too. I think next week, I forgot what offhand what next week is, but I feel like it's almost every week and it's really fun to see kids and staff so enthusiastic about it. And uh, just, this is kind of our overview for the rest of the year. I think this actually might be an old schedule. I think that we have um, our culture, our student lighthouse culture club has added some new days in there, <laughs> um, but it's just a fun way for kids to come together and build community here at school. Um, and another big rock that we have is uh, as a leader in me school, you hit a point where you've been implementing the program for so many years that you then are ready to apply for what they call lighthouse status. And this means that we have reached a level of significant implementation um, across our whole campus that we're ready to show it off to reviewers from all over the nation um, and receive this honor and this accolade. Um, so we had a mock review a couple weeks ago, the lady all in red is our coach from Leader and Me, and she came and did the whole review with us and showed us kind of what to expect, um, what it's going to be like, and this was a lot of preparing students. There was not a lot of adult talk, so what you see in these photos um, is an example of our students finding their voice as leaders. Um, I did very little talk. Our staff did very little talk. It was a lot of our students talking about their leadership at school and in the classroom, our physical environment, their leadership notebooks. Um, so it was great to see, and we are preparing. April 27th is our big day. So you'll be hearing from me and your child's teachers and hopefully your child or children about this really great chance we have to receive um, a lighthouse honor, which like I said, is like the pinnacle of leader and me, which is really exciting. So some photos from our mock lighthouse review. Um, and those are, that's kind of, those are the big things that we've had going on in terms of kind of things to show off. Um, always wanna make sure people know about health and safety updates. This really has, I was looking back through my, the afternoon uh, T and SME slides over the year and the amount of health and safety slides has just gotten smaller and smaller and smaller, which is so great. And the school events has gotten larger and larger and larger, which is great. Um, so just the big updates, um, if you haven't heard, our facial coverings are optional for uh, staff and students while they're indoors and outdoors now. I would say we really probably have about a 50-50 split of students still wearing masks, staff still wearing masks, uh, inside and outside, and students and staff choosing not to. And I've really just been so proud that there's been, it's just not been a big deal. Everyone just has gone with it. Um, I hear a lot of teachers and students using the phrase like, your mask, your choice, your mask, your choice. Um, but I've heard at some other campuses, there's been a little bit harder of a transition for some students in terms of feeling left out or feeling different in either direction. And I just can say it's been wonderful to see, we just keep it moving. Like it's just no big deal one way or the other, which is just, speaks to our leaders here on campus. But uh, a separate from that, all of our other health and safety protocols are still in place. The school board um, will be meeting at the beginning of April to again discuss the visitor and volunteer policy. I do anticipate some changes then, um, which means that we may be able to welcome families back onto campus as visitors or volunteers. So more to come, definitely, but we're, uh, we were just in a staff meeting and talking about how great that will be to be able to have our families on campus with us. Um, we are planning for an in-person open house. We are planning for an in-person leadership day, uh, in-person sixth grade promotion, um, but just waiting on that key piece of the school board to weigh in on that policy. So more to come. And um, it's, uh, the last bullet on here, it's not a new COVID testing company. It's new from the beginning of the year, but not new in the last month or so. Uh, but we do have free COVID testing for staff and students every week here on campus. 
Um, we still have quite a few folks participating in it, which is great. As with the county um, and the state, our numbers have dwindled uh, dramatically, which is wonderful, but it is still a health and safety protocol that we have available for everybody or for staff and students while they're here. And just making sure everyone knows we've got some big rocks coming up. That's a phrase that we use here uh, uh, related to leader and me. And we talk about you get your big rocks done first, the things that you have to get done. And once you put all those big rocks in there in that jar, there's always room for the small little ones to trickle in. So, but our big rocks coming up, we're doing our monthly leadership award video Friday. It is still going to be a video at this point. We're not ready to have uh, possibly an assembly yet because we're waiting on that updated visitor and volunteer policy to be released. So leadership award video on, on our YouTube channel Friday. We are excited to welcome Scholastic back for our book fair, which is all week next week. Classes will have two chances to visit the book fair. The first one will be just to preview it, to see what's there, talk about what they might wanna get, talk to their parents about, and then they'll come back a second time later in the week and actually uh, be able to collect the items that they've purchased. Everything, it's all cashless. Um, which is a lot easier for families. It's an e-wallet process um, and program. We've sent things out. We actually have a huge stack of flyers to go home again tomorrow with the e-wallet um, process of how to sign up for that. But kids are so, 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 so excited about it. So Scholastic Book Fair next week. Also next week is Spring Picture Day. Um, this is separate from fall picture day in the sense that we won't have, um, you know, we won't be releasing or we won't become uh, creating a, a class composite, but if students didn't like their fall picture or missed a fall picture or just want a whole new picture, we have spring picture day available on Friday. Um, all classes will have a chance to go and then parents or family adults at home have the choice whether or not they want to buy the spring picture. And then I can't even believe I'm saying this, but spring break, uh, April 11th through 22nd. Um, it's a full two weeks where we will have no school. State testing, again, I can't believe I'm saying this, but state testing um, in April and May, lots of information to come out um, to our third through sixth grade families, but we are intending on a standard kind of state testing protocol where we have a schedule, it's in the morning, um, and families will know kind of how to prepare their kiddos for that. Like I mentioned before, a couple slides ago, we are preparing for our Lighthouse Review, April 27th. Our campus will be looking amazing, so we might as well do open house on the same night. That is going to be in person, unless there's some dramatic change in the next, you know, several weeks, which I can't imagine that there would be. Um, we are, are planning for an in-person open house. So in the evening, we haven't nailed the time down yet, but it will probably be 5.30 to 7. Um, so looking forward to have people in our classrooms and on our campus. Really excited about that. And then sixth grade, if you have a sixth grader, and I know uh, we have a mom here of a new sixth grader to us, she, uh, sixth graders will have the option for a promotion picture May 4th. Um, this is kind of like a traditional graduation sort of looking photo, um, like uh, where they're wearing a mortarboard and everything. Um, but May 4th for sixth graders only for promotion. Oh, lots of, oh my gosh, a lot. We've got a lot to do this year. And then Leadership Day, which is a wonderful day that we have planned at the end of every year, um, an annual thing that we do where families and adults can come onto campus and see our student leaders in action. Um, it's all about showcasing who we are as a leader in me school. More info to come on that, but that'll be June 3rd. And then, oh my goodness, the following week is the last day of school and sixth grade in-person promotion on Thursday, June 9th. Um, whew, when you put it all together like that, it feels a little bit overwhelming, but also really exciting just because we've got so much to look forward to. So this is just meant to be a snapshot. Um, you'll get more information about each of these things um, as they get a little bit closer, but just to give people um, a heads up of what we're looking forward to. 
And then obviously, if you're here, you guys are connected, whether you saw the um, link for this on our Instagram or Dojo or in the YouTube or on the, I'm sorry, um, on the newsletter, or maybe you heard me talk about it on Jump Into Monday on our YouTube channel. Obviously, if you're here, you're connected, which is great, but there's always more ways to get in touch with us here at school. And then I'm always plugging our parent and family engagement department. They do a, new, a week, a monthly newsletter. I did show, I did share that in our last um, family newsletter from last week. So the link's in there, but that's also the direct link. This, these slides and this presentation will be posted on our website and I'll share them out in the newsletter as well at the end of this week. So once these slides are posted, you can just click that blue hyperlink there and then the longer actual if you wanted to type in the website it's down there on the bottom but we have a whole department of folks that all that they do is work to get our parents and families engaged in our school communities and the lemon grove community as a whole they always do great things 